I'd like to show you why designers are so obsessed with creating components and master components in these user interface libraries. The reason is as follows. Here we have a master component called button square outline, and here we have one button square filled. They're both master components. We are able to take this component and to duplicate it over here. And now we have, as you can see, a duplicate of the master. It has the same name, but it has the open single diamond, and therefore we know it's the child. If we go in and we change the text of that particular second compo component, we are able to edit the text, but still have it connected to the master. As you can see, the text didn't properly arrange itself. And so if we go back into the master and rechange the type settings, we see that that change is propagated down to the child. The same can be said for this button here. We have now duplicated the master, and there's another way which we can do that, which is to search for in our asset library as a designer and pull out that other asset, which is our master component. This asset library essentially shows us all of our master components, and we can select it, drag it onto the canvas board, and now we have an identical component. And of course, we can go in and we can change the text. We can go in back to the master and change its properties. And then, of course, we, you can even change uh, the designs of your master components. And those properties are propagated throughout the entire uh, canvas of all the child components. And so this is why designers are so obsessed with trying to create masters and trying to use subchildren of those masters uh, components is because it just makes it really easy to change your designs. One important thing to realize though is that sometimes in order to create uh, master components you actually have to end up um, creating multiple layers and so this might mean that you uh, f see many layers within a component and sometimes they don't do anything. Sometimes those are just containing layers which enables you to contain within one master component several other uh, subcomponents which it's using. You'll also notice that sometimes when we insert a child component it adopts the exact same name as the master component and therefore uh, we usually we should come along and uh, rename it but Sometimes uh, I forget to do that, and there, that's why you see so many components sometimes with the same names. In a similar way, if you duplicate a whole artboard and you change a setting on that second artboard, you're going to see all the same names as the first artboard.